I want to talk about some factors that you need to consider if you're thinking about retiring during a recession. And the third factor we're going to talk about today is going to be the most controversial. And the last factor is going to be a bonus tip. So make sure you hang on till the end because I've got some good ones for you today. My name is Drew Blackston. I'm a certified retirement counselor, investment advisor representative, and I am your virtual financial advisor, helping you get to retirement, helping you get through retirement, and even in a recession, protecting your ability to stay in retirement. Point number one is this. If you're thinking about retiring during a recession, don't time the stock market. And what do I mean by don't time the stock market? Don't try to buy when you think the market has bottomed. Don't try to sell when you think the market has got its peak. The old adage is time in the market over timing the market. The stock market has 52 weeks that it trades throughout the year and by statistical standards, only 10 days out of those 52 weeks actually propels the market up or propels the market down. And if you're not invested in one of those 10 days, you're not gonna get all the gains and you're not gonna get all the losses of being in the stock market. That's why it's so important for you to not time the market. Remember back to 2008, the Great Recession. The stock market was down over 50%. $3.4 trillion worth of retirement investing accounts were wiped out in that 15-month period. $3.4 trillion in retirement savings, hard-earned retirement investing accounts, gone. Home values in some parts of the country were down 80%. That recession hurt. But here's the thing. If you would have stayed invested from 2008 to 2021, you would have been handily rewarded. Think about it. If you would have stayed invested in 2008, where's the Dow Jones Industrial Average today? Where's the S&P 500 today? You would have made your money back hand over fist. Stay invested. Don't time the market. Now, if you're going into a recession, one of the things that you can think about is adjusting your allocation mix. If you are too risky and the recession comes and the market falls and you lose more than you expected, once the market starts to recover, this is a great time for you, you to adjust the investments inside your retirement investing accounts. Look at how you're invested and ask yourself, do I feel comfortable with the amount of money I'm putting at risk? And if not, once they've recovered, then adjust your risk tolerance. Adjust your investments from more risky to more moderate or conservative, whatever you prefer. All right, point number two, how to retire during a recession. Turn stock market chaos into opportunity. Opportunity. Look for opportunities in the stock market. Remember point number one, you're going to stay invested during a recession. Even if you're going into retirement, you're going to stay invested. Now we want to look for opportunities. Maybe you're still working. Maybe you're going to retire at the end of the year. Well, if you're over 50 within your 401k, or if you're investing in an IRA or a Roth IRA, you have the ability to do a catch-up contribution. What is a catch-up contribution? The IRS says, hey, because you're older, we'll allow you to put more money into your retirement investing accounts to give you a leg up because we know you're going to re be retiring soon. So if you're already maxing out your 401k, K, your 403B, your IRA, your Roth IRA. Look for ways to put more money into those accounts. Maybe if you don't have any more money to put in your 401k, your IRA, look for money to go into your brokerage account and now take advantage of stocks, ETFs, or mutual funds when they are lower. At the time of this recording, the S&P 500 is down about 22%. That means that you can buy VOO, which is the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF, 22% below its all-time high. Seems like a good deal to me. And even if the market goes lower, you still bought it on sale. So think about it. If there's opportunities out there, now I'm not talking, I'm not telling you to go be super risky and buy some biotech company that's in the pennies. No, I'm telling you to do your research, look for high quality companies, look for high quality ETFs, preferably 
passive indexes that are that are going to be low cost and they're following maybe the Russell 2000, the S&P 500, maybe a dividend index and get those ETFs, mutual fund stocks at a discount so that when the market comes back, you're making money hand over fist because you invested when the chaos erupted. Think about 1987 when the Dow Jones had its worst day in the history of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. If you had invested on that day, you would have made 50% over the next two years. If you had invested on the worst day of the Dow Jones Industrial Average, when everybody was screaming, you made 50% on your money over the next two years. If you had invested in 1982, the end of one of the longest recessions in our history, if you had invested money in that year, again, a bad year, you would have made over 60% the following two years. So turn chaos into opportunities. All right, let's talk about the controversial point in this how to retire during a recession. And this point only applies if you are 62 years or older, because at age 62, you are eligible for Social Security. Now, if you take Social Security at 62, you're going to get 70% of your full retirement benefit. If you wait till 67, you get 100% of your full retirement benefit. If you go to 70, if you're an overachiever, maybe a broccoli eater, then you're going to get 124% of your full retirement benefit. But here's my point. If you're retiring during a recession and you need your retirement investing accounts for retirement income and those accounts, those retirement accounts are down 15 or 20 percent, take Social Security early. Whoa, I did, did I get struck by lightning for saying that? Take Social Security early because here's the thing. I would rather you have a guaranteed source of income. If you want to retire at 62, you need to retire at 62. You can't stand that job or that boss who just whips you every day. You need to get out. Take Social Security early. I would rather you have Social Security at a 70% discount or a 30% discount, 70% of your full retirement benefit, and not using your retirement investing accounts right away for retirement income. Let those grow. And then as they come up, you can start using them for retirement income. Let me give you a good example. I've got a client, her name is Molly. Molly worked for Macy's. Macy is laying off employees. Well, she's 62 years old. Her social security benefit at 62 would be $1,200. She still wants to work. She wants to work part-time. She doesn't want to go back to working full-time. If she takes Social Security at 62, the Social Security Administration says, hey, you can take your Social Security at 62, but you're only allowed to make $19,561 in earned income from a job or we're going to tax you pretty heavily on your Social Security. Well, her Social Security at 62 is $1,200 a month. If she's able to get a job, a part-time job, working in retail like she was, she's going to make somewhere between fifteen and seventeen thousand dollars a year. If you take that fifteen to seventeen thousand dollars a year, you take that Social Security of twelve hundred dollars a month. That's going to put her at thirty thousand dollars a year in income. That's exactly what she needs. But when we were talking on the phone before she decided to do this, she was saying, "Hey." I want to wait to take Social Security because that's what everybody's told me. That's what I've always read. And I said, why? Why not take your Social Security now, continue to work, let your retirement investing accounts continue to grow, and then when you do decide to fully retire at 67, 68, whatever, then you can use your retirement investing accounts and they've recovered from the recession. All right, so that's my most controversial point. Let's move on to the bonus tip. Bonus tip if you're wanting to retire during a recession, and I'm in Florida, so this is gonna sound very Floridian when I tell you this, stay calm and plan accordingly. Go jump in a pool somewhere. Take a swim in the ocean. Take a walk outside. Don't let the news media or the financial media drive you crazy. Stay calm and plan accordingly. There's been 11 recess, recessions since 1948. If you take that by average, that means we've averaged one recession every six years. If you're in retirement for 30 years, you're going to experience five recessions. If every time there's a recession, the stock market goes down, you freak out, you're really not going to enjoy your retirement. 
So you want to stay calm and plan accordingly. How do you stay calm? You have a financial EKG because you can get a financial plan anywhere, but you can only get a financial EKG here. And what we're going to look at is we're going to stress test your retirement investments. We're going to look at your income, make sure that you're taking it at the right time, that your retirement income is going to last for the rest of your life. And we're going to build out a plan of scenarios to make sure that you can get to retirement, through retirement, and protect your ability to stay in retirement even during a recession. If you wanted more information on that, look at the description of this video. Also, in the comment section below is a free retirement download called The Roadmap to Retirement. Download that. It's a free booklet about retirement income. Get that into your hands, but it's also a way that you can get in touch with me by selecting the box, Yes, I Want to Meet with Drew. Thank you so much for watching today. God bless. Bye-bye.